He's fit, he's healthy, he does yoga, he can probably crack a man's skull between his kneecaps. <laughs> I'd like to pay tribute to Liz Truss for her dedicated public service to the country. Pretty good. Who's not eating? Is that you not eating any of your vegetables? She has led with dignity and grace. Um, we, we actually have it. Yeah, would you like sausages? Yes, Some toast? Yeah. Perfect. A couple of eggs? Yeah. Fantastic. Now you've been here before, have you? I have, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a great place, isn't it? Yes, it's a superb job. Right, there's that, that's some cutlery, let me get... Is that one of yours? No! <laughs> You're kidding me! It's all veg katsu curry. Um... Or a, main, or a regular chicken katsu curry. <laughs> no, they're not ours. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm keep, I'm keep. What, what do you have? A, you, do you work in a business? Do you want some no, fruit? No, I'm, I'm homeless and I'm actually a homeless person at the minute, but I'm interested in business. Yeah, what kind of business? Uh, I like finance, it's good for the city and um, when finance and stuff's doing well, we will do well, don't we, in London? So yeah, that's I'm absolutely right. Up. Yeah, these are my these Maryland cookies are my favourite, which I this is earlier than I normally have them in the day, so this is well you can good take news them home and have them. Well, I will. Thank you for thank you. I will certainly. I have one of those most days actually. Hi, how are you? There we go. That's good. I know people always like to take the mick out of me for my uh, Peloton that I I use, but the, the reason I have to use this Peloton is because I'm constantly eating either you know cookies or cake. So Twenty most minutes days. Peloton, five cookies, something like that. Yeah. Oh, well, actually, that, if that's the ratio, that's good. <laughs> I can eat more cookies then. I, I, I thought it was worse than that. Hi, how are you? Uh, not too bad. Now, did you get a chance to watch some of the footy yesterday? Yeah, Yeah, and, and, and were you at this boxing I've been hearing a lot about? Is that something you'd like to get into? Um, yeah, I wouldn't mind. Um, but I don't know. I'd like to get through Christmas, though. Yeah, what's the plan? What are you doing this weekend? Uh, no idea. I'm hoping that the um, St Mungo's can help me get into some temporary accommodation so I'm not on the street. I managed to start changing the funding formulas to make sure that areas like this are getting the funding that they deserve. Because we inherited a bunch of formulas from the Labour Party that shoved all the funding into deprived urban areas. Then uh, they, you know, that needed to be undone. I started the work of undoing that. Oh! You know, people, I think, hopefully, can judge me on my actions. I always say I don't, I don't judge people by how much money they have in their bank account. I have friends who are aristocrats, I have friends who are upper class, I have friends who are, you know, working class, but uh, I'm not working class. I believe in fiscal responsibility. Yeah, all together? Yeah, all together. Yeah, all together. Yeah, all together. Yeah, all together. Just borrowing more money and stacking up bills for future generations to pay is not just economically irresponsible, it is immoral. £11.8 billion lost in fraud yeah. because of a total yeah. lack of respect for taxpayers' yeah. money. Yeah. It's not just about the money. You know, my, my wife and I have Volkswagen Golf and actually she's filled it up, as I was saying, the other week. And, and it, is, it is going up. Of course we know it's going up. You weren't even looking at how much it costs to fill up your car. Picture this. You're a young family. You work hard saving a bit each month, but it's tough. Mr. Sunak had his sights set on America. He moved to the upscale Los Angeles suburb of Santa Monica in California with his new wife, Akshata Murthy, the daughter of one of India's richest entrepreneurs. The rent was just under $20,000 a month. Useful for people. The ally of Boris Johnson, someone tipped for a cabinet job. If he becomes prime minister, you might see this face again. <laughs> and we are determined to tackle them head on. Oh my gosh, that is so kind. <laughs> look at this. God, you look at that. <laughs> Taken together, this year and next, we're spending 407 billion pounds. I put my principles first and I always will. Both Will Smith and me having our wives attacked, but at least I didn't get up and, uh, and slap anybody, which is good. Did you feel uh, like it? Well, no. <laughs> and what you have seen over the past few years is very strong increases in investment in public services, actually. And whether that's in our NHS, whether that's in schools, whether that's putting more police officers Tell on the street. Tell me a public service you think is currently doing a proper job, is actually working adequately, working properly. Tell me one. Well, actually, if, I mean, I, there's plenty of examples I could give, but right, I mean, right now, we invested five billion pounds. No, no, I'm asking which public well, service is working.
<laughs> I'm a cup oh, addict. Oh, oh, a total cup yeah. addict. Hello, hello. Yeah, Rishi. Yeah. No, How you are. are you? Oh, sorry. Gosh. <laughs> Very excited. I'm Rishi. Do you ask everyone this question? Or, <laughs> or not? <laughs> no, I'm really it's funny because I am, again, this is, so I'm a massive, uh, so one of these things that not that many people know about me. So I collect Coca Cola things. Oh. I am a big Star Wars fan. Yeah, there's only, I mean, there's only so much Star Wars you can watch. Um, so. Coca Cola. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just for the record. I was say, just for the record, just be totally clear. Uh, I am. Uh, So many of you say to me, wow, you're even shorter in real life. What is, what Which, is, what's your favorite it's loaf? It's a Hovis, it's a kind of seeded thing. From, well, we have a whole ba range of different, uh, seed, well, we all have different breads in my house. Wandering through an auction market, I was introduced to a farmer as the new William Haig. He looked quizzically at that point. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then said, ah, yes, Hagee, good bloke, like him. Bit pale though, this one's got a better tan. <laughs> you were filmed earlier without Thank a seatbelt on Prime Minister in your car. Would you address that for us? Well, and and well. you support the Prime Minister Thanks. unequivocally. I personally wouldn't be sitting here supporting Boris if I thought he was racist. Uh, so it's something I care very deeply about. And although I am not from Yorkshire, they were immensely relieved to learn that I was not from Lancashire either. <laughs> I saw that you flew to Blackpool Airport today um, on a private jet instead of travelling by train, obviously when there's a climate emergency and using taxpayers' money. I, you know, I travel around so I can do lots of things in one day. I'm not travelling around just for my own enjoyment. You've had to clarify your wife's non-DOM status. You held permanent residency in the United States while you were setting the taxes of British voters, which is what a green card means. Um, you're um, building a swimming pool at your constituency home while the public pool in Richmond is facing closure after a 400% energy hike. This has all led to a perception problem for you. People feel that you can't walk a mile in their shoes because you're walking in your Prada shoes. What would you say to them? <laughs> yeah, so, look, uh, you know, over the past couple of weeks, right, I've been out and about across the country. I pledge that I will serve you with integrity and humility, and I will work day in, day out to deliver for the British people. <laughs>